tools are freedom. Build up your shop so that you can take care of yourself when you don't have any money. This is Dave with the Crafted Channel. I've been putting new hubs on my truck. These bearings are wore out. Look at this, oh my God. Hard to believe that was working on my truck and not making a noise. The one on the left wasn't as bad as this, but it was making a noise. It's an 06 Dodge Ram 3500 Cummins diesel. Here's the hubs I bought for it, Tempkins. These were, are you ready for this? $177 a piece. Now that's a middle priced one, but these are made in America, as far as I can tell. And Timken's got an excellent reputation, so this is one of the good choices for this truck. And this is what the hub looks like. It's got three big bolts, 18 millimeter uh, heads, got the uh, brake sensor built into it. Now the price of these for a pair range from $126 up to uh, I would say five or six hundred dollars for a pair of these hubs. I bought something in the middle price range, hundred and seventy seven dollars a piece, so I got three hundred and I don't know, three hundred and forty bucks let's say with shipping. But these are good quality. You gotta be really wealthy to buy cheap stuff. The cheap ones are rumored to only last eight, nine, ten thousand miles. I don't want to do this job again. This truck's got two hundred thousand miles on it. I want this to be the last set of hubs I put on it. Hopefully these will get me to 400, which is my goal for the truck. The driver's side came off a lot easier than this side. This side, I can't get it to budge. I've done a whole lot of this, a lot of this, and I even put a fastener in the back of it and put this socket on it and jammed uh, the uh, another a longer extension up against the frame over here. And then when you start the truck and use the power steering to turn this assembly and push on the head of the bolt. And I couldn't get it to break off with that. I actually think I bent this. This thing had about a quarter inch curve in it. So I had to give up on that. One of my problems is it's Sunday. And if I don't get it fixed today, I'm gonna to have to get a rental car. That's gonna cost me 100 bucks. Um, and I can't let this go on forever. Eventually, if I don't get it fixed myself, I'm gonna to have to pay a mechanic to do it. That could cost hundreds of dollars. Enter hydraulic equipment kit from Harbor Freight. This is the uh, 20,000 pound one, item 62114. You're looking at this kit and you're wondering, how am I gonna use this kit to push that hub off? Here we go. We got this short little hydraulic bottle jack, item number 95980. I'm gonna use this kit to drive this Ram. Now this kit sells for $200, this sells for $49. I'm still saving money over what the labor would cost me to do this job, and I'm going to get to keep the tools to do other jobs in the future. So I can use this accessory with this pump in order to drive that hub off. Let's check out what's in the packages. Cool latches. Wham! There it is, baby. Some people would look at this and think you could use this as a spreader, but this doesn't have a large fulcrum arm and this doesn't have nearly as much power as the ram does. The ram I could probably, maybe I could get that in there and push against something on the frame of the truck and push it off. But this is used to do frame straightening and add these extensions to this ram and you know push two or three feet away. This is a really cool kit. I had one of these maybe 25 years ago. Sold it with a business that I got out of so it's nice to have one again. I wish I had more projects for this. Hopefully I won't wreck anything and need it for anything else for a long time. A hydraulic equipment kit like this is really a handy thing to have. Let's check out this little bottle jack here. Man, isn't that going to be great. Let me show you where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put this against the hub and I'm going to put a spacer here and I'm going to push against this uh, disc brake mounting bracket and we should be able to push the hub off or at least get it moving and get it jarred loose. Save these, don't lose these. This keeps dirt from getting in your hydraulic fluid. It's nice that that one's retained on the pump. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see if it goes back on its own. Nope. 
Not hard to push. Let's get it jigged up. So here's what's going on. I need a spacer because of the shortness of the ram. I have this bar of steel. I clamped it down here on the lower caliper mount, caliper slide mount, and this will give me a lot of places I can put the tool. Let's give it a go. Ooh, that's as far as it goes. It doesn't have a lot of stroke. So I got to rig up another spacer. I was worried that might be a problem, so I have one right here. Push that back farther. See if I can get this between the... There we go. Got it between the head and that. Here we go. Look at that. See that gap? Wow, it didn't change much, but I heard it pop. We'll try again with this socket as a spacer. And where we was pushing was back here farther because we were pushing on the, the back head of one of these lug, lugs. So now we're pushing more on the edge here. Oh yeah, it's moving. This pl oh, look at that. Look how much it's moved. That plate's been coming with it. That's as far as she goes, baby. Loose. Wow, I can't tell you how great it feels to have that thing finally pop loose. I really struggled with this thing last night. This is the uh, ABS sensor line. Gotta knock that out of there. There we go. Connector's hiding back here, held by this pin. How this tricky connector works is you take this little red thing here and kind of lift it up and push it back. There we go. And that allows you to pull up this red tab and then this gets this, this allows you now to push this tab down here this black tab and unplug the plug there we go a little bit of a bear but you don't want this coming off unless it's really on purpose so it's a good safety plug left my bolt in here I was using to Try to push that off with the hydraulic steering. So my point is not to show you how to replace one of these hubs, but to show you a way of getting these off that I haven't seen in any other YouTube videos. And the other thing to consider is when you need some mechanical work done, you can, instead of paying the mechanic, I mean, it's great to pay a mechanic when you need a mechanic. I pay mechanics sometimes, but if you've got the time, do the job yourself, buy all the necessary tools. You'll probably find you spend about the same or less and you have the tools, which means next time you can do it really cheap. Tools are freedom. Build up your shop so that you can take care of yourself when you don't have any money and you'll be better off in the end. This has been Dave on the Crafted Channel. Thanks for joining me. Like, share, and subscribe. I got to get this truck done. I'm getting back to it. Now I cleared away all of those lumps here. This is where the uh, old bearing wasn't seated against this and this rusted and puffed up. And I want to clear that all away just in case the new bearing overlaps one of those areas.
We'll put some anti-seize compound in here. Just in case something goes wrong and I have to redo one of these. I'm going to do uh, ball joints on this later. And I have to do uh, tie rod ends too. I can detect just a little bit of slop there. But we've definitely got some slop up here in the top ball joint on both sides. The ball joints requires another toolkit that I haven't bought yet. I think in two or three weeks I'm going to do the ball joints. I'm going to buy a nice toolkit for removing those. This little notch here is for the sensor wire. ABS sensor. Just like that. Please don't fall off. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. And anything worth doing right is worth doing all the way right. And the next guy to take this apart might be me. But even if it wasn't, there's no point in screwing the next guy. Do it right. Four inch breaker bar bought just for this project. Mailman just pulled in. What's in the box? Oh, cat litter. I ordered that. Oh, half inch drive, wobbly ended Sun X extension set. I was low on extensions. I'm stocked up now. And two-piece impact universal joint set. These are things I ordered just in case I got stuck and thought I might need them. Stuff I didn't have in my uh, tool assortment. Now I got them. Handy stuff. sees in here. Not enough to ever get on the rotor. Maybe three, four, five years from now when I have to replace this, it'll come right off. Oh, can't forget this. Yes, I forgot to put this on. It goes underneath the bearing. Shazam! Gotta get your hands dirty to get something done. There we go. I got one bad lug nut the last mechanic cross-threaded for me on the old on the old hub when I had the rotors put on. So we'll replace that sooner rather than later. So we'll drive off and uh, get a replacement nut for it. <coughs> Always start these by hand. <coughs> this will conclude this video. If you're upset about how dirty my wheels are. Send me a private message. You can clean them.